owners wanted to retain the old Joburg charm of this property while updating its design and functionality. It had to be a natural home for their art and modern furniture, as much as for their family of four plus pets. You've done an incredible job with this place. It's actually the first time I've seen a glass door as a front door, and this entryway is like a gallery. What was the brief? You hit the nail on the head. The client actually purchased this house, which was designed in 1945, and the brief was to renovate it to allow natural light to come in, reflect his lifestyle, and a space where he could actually show off his magnificent art collection. A minimalist's dream in squares and rectangles. The kitchen is an art installation in itself. It's simple, clean, yet bold. Absolutely. Uh, simplicity, really, harmony is the hardest thing to achieve. When the client was young and living at home, he had lived in a house full of clutter. And he promised himself that one day when he grows up, he wants to live in a home that is clean and simple and really surround himself only with functionality and pieces that he needs, that he uses and that he loves. And I think that we can see that in this kitchen. It's obviously a very functional kitchen, but yes, it's based in a very simplistic manner. You can see that there are no handles that are protruding. There's a beautiful, simple workspace and everything is actually hidden away. And if you open up the drawers, they're extremely organized. Drawers you can open like this help with the multitasking required when raising two boys. Now this looks like a room that is used a lot. Yes, this is the family room and I believe that every home should have one room where you can put your feet up on the couch, relax, take it easy and not have to worry about what you've done to the furniture. So what I used in this space is I used slip covers. So everything can come off and be washed and this is the perfect environment for relaxing. Looking down, I can see the other rooms and they all look so different and unique. Absolutely, and this is the perfect example now of how all the spaces are interconnected. So they've done away with all the small boxy rooms that they had originally. The spaces are connected to each other and I've designed the furniture pieces and chosen them so that they they do connect to each other, but yet each space has its own kind of emotive feeling. Talk me through some of the pieces that are here. This is very unique. The chairs are really, really special. They are designed by Vico Magistretti, a very famous Italian architect. But if you have a look at them, they've been based on the concept of a saddle. If you look at the beautiful leather backing, which is hand stitched, and they form almost like a sculpture in the space. And then the dining room table bases are incredible. They really are a piece of functional art. They are based on a screw that either you can raise or lower depending on the height of the table that you want. It took specialist heritage architect Joe van Royen to take care of the bigger picture. We've seen what he can do restoring a 20s house in Westcliff, and he struck a similar balance here. So Joe is the guy that did the big renovation here. <laughs> the open heart surgery. The open heart surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what were some of the features that had to be upgraded in order to make this house what it is today? It was a very specific 1940s brick house. It had a beautiful slate roof and strong lines, but it had to be modernized. So we thought, well, let's keep the roof shape and the roof formation and then just open it up and make it a modern house for a modern family. How did you maintain the character that flowed through the house into this outside space? I think it's important to have a synergy between the old and the new. But what we did here was to do a new cover terrace, and we decided let's do something completely clean and modern. So it's a bit of a glass box, and then it contrasts quite nicely with the old house. And it's such a beautiful living space. Is that when the synergy of your collaboration came together? Both Joe and I focus primarily on our clients' lifestyles and really getting a deep understanding of what they are wanting to achieve and what they want to feel when they're in a space and how they want that space to work. You definitely got the brief spot on. Between the blue-grey of the slate and the green of the lawn, a pale colour worked for the house. I mean, as you can see, it's got quite a beautiful structure there, so it was a face brick building, um, but had this amazing, quite clean slate roof. So what we decided to do is to open up and clean up the windows. So these old properties got small windows and we created these quite beautiful Juliet balconies. So the doors open onto the steel Juliet and you can literally sleep with the doors open. Also, we had quite a few pillars that didn't make sense. So we decided to take all of that out and keep this clean opening. 
So the big thing was how do we clean up the facade without taking away from the character, which was quite specific. Between Joe's architecture, Julia's interior design and the landscaping, it's a seamless look which has evolved. This home really is exquisite. It must have taken more than one renovation. I think when you really want to get to something that's simplistic and perfect, you have to live in the space. And I think that's what the client's done. He started off on a journey and he's landed up with a space that absolutely gives him what he was looking for. And I think what is quite special is every time we work on the house, we refine and we relook and we redefine. And rarely do you get the opportunity to work so long of a period mm and really get to a product like this. From your very own words, simplicity is hard, but you two make it look so easy and you make an incredible team. Here's to Top Billing seeing many more of your homes. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Cheers.